Hi there. So in this video, we are going to sideload some apps. Now, why would you need to sideload apps when you have the official Google Play Store and it has even the all popular apps already pre-installed like Netflix, Prime Videos and YouTube. That's because when you sideload apps, you get some apps that aren't even available actually on the Play Store. Yes, and I'm really excited to make this one. In this video, I'm going to show you a step by step process on how to do it. So before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload the Aptoid TV app. You'll find a lot of apps in that app store that you can't find anywhere else. Also, once you know how to sideload it, you can install any Android TV compatible app like Movie HD following the same steps. All right, let's start. So to do this, you'll need a pen drive and a computer, laptop, desktop or a MacBook. Anything is fine. So first click on the link in the description. It will take you to the Aptoid TV download page. Click download and the app file should almost instantly start downloading. Copy the download file to your pen drive. If possible, make an app folder and then copy it. It's always better. Also make sure that you safely eject your pen drive so that you don't lose your data. So before we plug in our pen drive, we're going to go to the Google Play Store and install an app called File Commander. You come here, search for File. You get File Manager here. And the first one that comes here is File Commander. Install this. Once this is done, you go back to the home page, you go into settings, device preferences, scroll all the way down to security and restrictions, unknown sources, and here file commander is not allowed, click on allow. Go back, and now it's time to plug in your pen drive to your Mi Box 4K. So as you plug in, you're gonna get this prompt, click on cancel, go to app launcher, Go to TV File Commander, click Continue, come down to Not Now, click Allow. So here you're going to see Internal Storage and SanDisk. Come down to SanDisk. SanDisk is my pen drive, yours will be whatever it shows you there. Come down to Apps, you'll find the Aptoid TV, click on it. Come right on the three dots, click on it and come with open with package installer click on install once this is done do not open click on done go all the way back to your home page same process go to settings device preferences all the way down to security and restrictions unknown sources and here say allowed to aptoid tv okay and now we come into the app launcher and we see Aptoid TV. Click and open. It will tell you what's new in this update. Click allow. And there you go. This is a tile like format. You can see the top apps here T Movie, YouTube, Netflix. I'm sure we don't need YouTube, Netflix because they already come pre installed. But there's Facebook, there's VLC Media Player. There are many more that you don't find on the Google Play Store, which is amazing. So go crazy. Now, this one is my favorite Firefox for TV. Now, this is one app that you don't find on the Google Play Store. This is one of the best browsers to surf on the web on the Android TV. Have a look at this. This is amazing. I highly recommend you download this. All right, done, done, back. Let's go out in the app launcher. And you can see Firefox. So this is an amazing browser. And the best part is you can use the browser just with your TV remote, with your Mi Box remote, sorry. You can use it with your Mi Box remote. You can browse through websites. And this is the biggest plus of this. There you go. There are even for other websites that you can go. Let's quickly have a look at Hollywood Reporter. If you want to read your text, all your news websites. It's great fun to go through on this. And the sad part is this is not available on the Google Play Store. This is something you'll get only on Aptoid TV. 
And if you want to search for a website, you simply come here to the search bar and search and you can enter your website. So it's not that it's only restricted to the websites that are showing here, Instagram. And there you go. I'm actually on my Instagram page. Wow. So those who aren't following me should start following me on Mr. Texting. So basically you can browse through your Instagram even on that big screen thanks to the Firefox TV app, which is great. So coming back to Aptoid TV, you're gonna see that there has tons of apps available here. New arrivals, streaming apps, free games and coming to games, oh, they have a huge collection. And uh, let me tell you, all the games that you find here will be free, absolutely free. You can download emulators, you can download games. All the games here are for free. Some games will need gamepad to be played, but they will still work. But I would advise you get a gamepad. But there are many games that you can play even with the remote. So go crazy, keep trying. Wow, wasn't that easy? You can install any app that isn't available on the Google Play Store or Aptoid TV 2 following these same steps. But make sure that the app you're trying to install is compatible to an Android TV OS. Also, the link and the process that is shown in this video can exactly be replicated for any other Android TV OS. Whether it's another Android box or whether it's an Android TV OS, everything, the process is going to be absolutely the same. Anyway, so I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments if there are any questions. I'll be happy to help. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.